Tanaka threw 30 plus pitches in that first inning. How was he able to settle in and give you guys six? Um, yeah, that was huge. I mean, you know, you start getting to that point in the inning and, you know, you're maybe another hitter from having to start to get somebody up. So um, great job by him of, of reining it in a little bit. <clears throat> I think he struggled a little bit in that first inning with his command and his slider a little bit, but uh, he really settled in from there and made the necessary adjustments, got real pitch efficient, and, you know, to be able to get us through six tonight the way he did, um, he continues to pitch well for us, and um, obviously that's huge for us going forward. He's now thrown 17 and a third scoreless innings. What do you look at as the common thread for his success? Over Com that command. I mean, the split's been great. You know, it's, it is... I mean, you can just see it on the other hitter, on the hitters, you know, they have, you know, such a reverence for that pitch, just so hard for him to lay off. And, and he's really just, he's doing a really nice job of commanding it, meaning starting it, you know, around the knees and, and, and throwing it harder sometimes, but to get those swings and misses out of the zone. I thought later in the game, um, his fastball picked up and he used it kind of knowing that hitters are up there kind of protecting a little bit against the secondary stuff. So I thought um, he made a nice adjustment later in the game, mixing in some more fastballs. But he's throwing the ball really well for us right now, and, and it's really good to, good for us to see. And Duhar uh, hit safely in 21 to 24 games in July. How do you think he's been able to find so much consistency at the plate, not just this month, but for the most part all yeah. season long? You know what? He's a really gifted hitter. Uh, I've talked a lot about his ability to just – keep the bat in the hitting zone for a long time he's one of those guys that does that um but i think the thing that's been really good about him is he's he's, he's made adjustments as the league's changed um as the league's made adjustments to him pitchers have made adjustments he's been able to 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 do that along with him i think he's shown some patience even though he hasn't walked a ton i feel like um i feel like he's done a pretty good job of controlling the strike zone and and i think we're kind of witnessing you know, the continued emergence of, of what's going to be a really good hitter in this league uh, for a long time. And, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's a tough out for, for us wherever, wherever we put him in the order. Ron and Randy. After splitting the first 10 with Baltimore, are you at a point now where against the teams with losing records like the Royals, like the Orioles, you really have to start dominating and get ahead early in games and get those wins? Um, I just look at it as there's urgency with it. Um, and, and, you know, glad we got this one. And now it's on to tomorrow and, and Cobb and, and having Sonny go out there and give us a good start. So I don't get, you know, I don't necessarily look at it as, you know, desperation necessarily like, oh, we got to win a certain way or we, you know, I don't think that's the way to play. I mean, I, I want us to be a club that has an urgency when we walk through, the, through those doors every single day, trying to put our best foot forward and, and um, you know, that's our expectation tomorrow. Randy. As this trade deadline approached, there was a, a lot of talk from fans, media, that you guys needed a second ace. Could you get DeGrom or Bumgarner? Was there one out there? When you see Tanaka like this, the way he was in the playoffs last year, do you? he's been an ace in the past. Do you still think that he can be that, that really good number two guy behind Seve? I do. I do. Um, you know, I think it was this time last year where he really started to turn it on, too, after the All-Star break. He really started to pitch well down the stretch, and then I think everyone saw how great he was in the postseason. So, you know, hopefully we're seeing him kind of follow a similar script right now and kind of really start to round in, into form, and hopefully that whatever it was, month he missed um, with the hamstrings, hopefully that's something that, you know, in a way, will work for him down the stretch here. And then if we get to play in October, um, hopefully it's something that allows him to stay fresh. But um, really excited to see how sharp um, he's been able to be really in his last few, few starts since coming off the DL. And and uh, and even tonight, you know, where he struggled and labored a little bit in that first inning to be able to rein it in and, uh, and give us a strong start. It, it's really good to see because he's really important. And I absolutely feel like he can be that 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 good number two. Anyone else? Thank you, Aaron. Yep.